Greetings, everybody. So I'm happy to show you how to solve this problem, which I've taken right off our assignment on my MATLAB. And it goes like this. Uh, I want to simplify or calculate this expression where it says, what is cosine of the inverse sine of one over X? So there are a lot of ofs there. Um, and I think that the way to do this is to break it into parts and do one part at a time. Let me show you what I mean. So first of all, like, uh, you know, when you learn the order of operations that you do what's in the parentheses first. So I feel like with this one, I need to figure out what sine inverse of one over X is before I go any further. So to do that, I think we should know what kind of a thing sine inverse is. And sine inverse is an angle. All right. That's what it is. And an angle is something that you can see. It's something you can visualize. All right. And I happen to have drawn it as an angle in a right triangle because we can reduce the trigonometric functions to angles and uh, right triangles. OK, we can do that if we want to. So sine inverse is an angle. Now, what can I tell you specifically about that angle? So here goes. This is the important part. Sine inverse of 1 over x is the angle, remember it's an angle, that has a sine of 1 over x. So how would you think about the angle that has a sine of 1 over x? Let's say what's sine? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse with respect to a right triangle. So if I was going to look at the angle that had a sine of 1 over x, it looked like this. See, let's say there's the angle I'm talking about. What's the sine of that angle right there? It's opposite over hypotenuse. It's one over X. Okay. So right here, you see that? That's what sine inverse one over X is. It's this angle in this triangle. Now, with that being said, I could find cosine of that angle because I'm looking right at it. Cosine is what? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, how about we find that adjacent side? That wasn't revealed in this first step, but I could find that adjacent side with the Pythagorean theorem. So right triangle, so a squared plus one squared is x squared, revealing this side to be root x squared minus one, okay? So cosine of sine inverse one over x is cos cosine of this angle right here is root x squared minus one over x. Okay, so that's the train of thought for this sort of thing. I think that it takes care of so much of the problem just to know that sine inverse is ultimately an angle no matter what. And then if you know a little bit more trigonometry and math about triangles and so on, you can take it the rest of the way and solve it.